Dollywood is one of those parks that I think every enthusiast should go to. With their amazing coaster collection, one-of-a-kind park atmosphere, great shows, and the world's best cinnamon bread, this place is one of my favorites. This park already has some amazing coasters, such as Lightning Rod, Mystery Mine, Wild Eagle, and more. But recently, there's a rumor going around that they might get another coaster soon. This coaster I'm talking about is a hyper coaster, a 200 foot tall coaster with amazing airtime. So in this video, I'm going to be discussing the possibility of Dollywood getting a hyper coaster in the coming years, and I will also be giving you my thoughts on the future of this park and what I think they'll add in 2020 and beyond. Let me start off by saying that if they do get a coaster, it's very unlikely that it would be in 2021. It's possible, but it's just very unlikely. It would most likely be in 2022 or 2023. It's way too early for them to add a new coaster, especially in 2021 because it looks like they already know what they're adding that year, but I'll get to that in a little bit. Before we get any further, let's start with the question of is a hyper coaster a good fit for the park? I'd say a hyper coaster is a perfect fit for Dollywood. Dollywood has nothing like a traditional hyper coaster. In fact, they only have one B&M coaster, so a hyper coaster would definitely fit the park and be very well received. In fact, everything about the hyper coaster rumor makes sense. Dollywood has the space, the cash, and the means to buy one. The only thing that makes some people skeptical about this is the fact that the two parks that are close to Dollywood also have hypercoasters. This can be taken as a good thing and a bad thing. Some people look at this as a reason for Dollywood not to get a B&M hypercoaster because it will be too similar as, as Goliath at Six Flags Over Georgia and Intimidator at Carowinds. I personally don't agree with this. Just because one park has something doesn't mean another park can't add the same. And it's not like these parks are only an hour away, they're 4 hours apart from each other, so it definitely wouldn't block Dollywood from getting a B&M hypercoaster. I would say 4 hours is usually far enough from another park that their additions don't really affect each other that much. Just look at Hershey Park adding Candemonium even though Busch Gardens has a polished chariot. So we already established that a hypercoaster would be a good fit for this park, but what kind of hypercoaster would they get? In my opinion there are only 3 options that I, that I could see happening. The first is a traditional B&M hypercoaster with an out and back layout. The second is that they could get a B&M hypercoaster and use the terrain to make it a terrain coaster. And the third option is that they could go the weird route and get a Mack hypercoaster, like the DC Rivals. Out of the three, I think the most likely option would probably be the traditional hypercoaster. But you never know, any of these options could work. Dollywood does have a lot of hills, so the terrain coaster would make a little sense. And considering the fact that they have worked with Mack before, a hypercoaster for them doesn't seem that far off. Now if they did get this hypercoaster, when would they get it? There are already a few other roller coasters that are going around for Dollywood's next coaster, such as an indoor coaster and a spinning coaster, and these are all valid predictions. And within the next 10 years, I think they will add 3 or maybe 4 coasters. They will definitely add the hypercoaster and at least 2 others. Speaking of the next 10 years, on March 13th, Dollywood is going to have a presentation where they unveil details about the largest investment plan in Dollywood history. Now that's a pretty big deal, especially because the last 10 year investment plan was $300 million. That means this 10 year plan will at least be a few million more than that. Think about it, the $300 million investment plan included Fire Chaser Express, the Dream More Resort, Lightning Rod, Drop Line, Whistle Punk Chaser, Wildwood Grove, River Rush, Tailspin Racer, and a bunch more. That's four coasters, a bunch of flat rides, two water slides, and an entire hotel. So by 2030, I predict we will see an interactive dark ride, Wildwood Grove Part 2, some sort of observation tower ride such as a Starflyer, new water slides, new trains with lap bars for Mystery Mine, more flat rides, and the addition of a new hotel or cabin. Oh yeah, and they'd also get four roller coasters. One of which would be a B&M hyper coaster, one would be a family ride, and the other two would be thrill coasters, such as a next generation Vacoma launch coaster. And also by then, I would expect them to remove Blazing Fury. Maybe that's where they would add the indoor coaster. And who knows, 10 years is such a long time that maybe by then there will be some new type of coaster, or some amazing experience that we haven't seen before. So to recap, the future of Dollywood looks amazing. This park looks like one of the most promising parks in the United States, and I hope everyone gets a chance to go here so they can ride some amazing coasters and eat the world's famous cinnamon bread. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe if you want to see content just like this every week, and leave a comment below about what are your thoughts on the next 10 years for Dollywood.